Hi, everybody, and welcome to a very new, very fresh special edition of Osprey Observer TV. As you can see, uh, we're finally in the same building. <laughs> uh, welcome, everybody. We're ready to have a lot of fun with you. We have a special guest, as we always do, uh, going to be talking about what's happening in the community. And so for that, as always, I toss it over to Marie Gilmore, Editor-in-Chief of the Osprey Observer. Who do we have today? Well, this is very exciting because, yes, we've been for the last 18 months doing remote Zoom right. and everything. Yeah. We decided, okay, we'll be in the same studio, test it out, and then hopefully we'll be getting back into some in-persons as we go. But yeah. this morning, we have a really special guest, somebody I've gotten to know over the years. He runs a local charity called Bikes for Christ. This morning, we're going to welcome my friend, Pat Simmons, who provides a very special and important charitable contribution opportunity in our community. Good morning, Pat. Thanks for being with us today. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Tell me a little bit about your charity, Bikes for Christ, and how you got started. Okay. Um, well, the beginning actually was I took a mission trip in uh, 2015 to Nicaragua. And I came back and I knew I wanted to, to do something. My life was changed uh, from what I'd seen there. I didn't know what I wanted to do, though. So I started getting involved with a couple different organizations that work directly with people in need, doing feedings, clothing and stuff like that. Um, about six months into that, I finally figured out what it was I wanted to do. I, 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 I knew that I could help people with transportation. So I finally found uh, a way to combine my love of cycling with something that actually had purpose. And Bikes for Christ was actually started. March of 2016. Um, if you fast forward now, five and a half years later, we uh, are the premier provider of transportation to over 60 organizations here in the Tampa Bay area. So it, we've grown tremendously. Excellent. And just in a nutshell, give me an idea of what Bikes for Christ provides. Okay, so we provide uh, bicycles. Our main focus is veterans that are trying to reestablish themselves, underprivileged kids, which can be any, anybody from, from poor to uh, foster children. Um, and then anybody that's in need and is trying to improve their situation. We wanna know that a person is genuinely trying to break out of the bonds of whatever is holding them, holding them down. So that's, a, that's our main focus. That's our main focus. Okay. And I know because I've gotten to know you through some different foundations, some different organizations in the community, that there's ways that individual people can help. And then just walk me through what you do when someone donates a bike to Bikes for Christ. Okay. So as far as the way people can help, well, number one, bicycle donations, because that's how we exist. Uh, number two, monetary wise, we have to be able to fix up the bicycles. And just because we're a nonprofit doesn't mean that we run on no funds. We're a business like any other business. So we, we, we have an overhead to keep. Um, and then as far as uh, once somebody donates a bicycle, pretty much it ends up here in the shop eventually, and we uh, are able to, to get it up on one of the racks back there, get it fixed, and ready to go out to somebody. Now, the way that happens is going back to the organizations we work with. We depend upon their case managers to vet out clients to determine whether that bicycle could be life-changing for an individual. And if they feel like it could, then they place a referral order with us. Uh, we prep the bikes. And then the bikes are delivered to the agencies that place the order. Now you, you just hit on a very key word there about this, um, because uh, we hear this uh, not only about bicycles, obviously about vehicles as well. Uh, and that's life changing, uh, especially for adults. Uh, developmentally, it's incredibly important for children. Uh, tell us about some of the stories that have been life changing for the recipients uh, of Bikes for Christ. Well, uh, one, one of the biggest ones I always like to share is, is of a guy that I initially met at uh, Amazing Love Ministries, whose name was Dave. His name's David. And um, David, I knew had some issues going on. I'd see him every Monday night. And I was very new into Bikes for Christ at that time. And I, I said, could a bicycle help you out? And he told me no. 
he, he flat out told me he was not responsible enough at that time for a bicycle. Well, it wasn't more than two months after that. David finally had a change of heart, gave his life to Jesus. He got sober, got off the drugs, everything. He wow. now had a job, he now had a job working. Um, and at that point, he goes, can I have a bike? <clears throat> so it was literally the day after Christmas. <clears throat> I think it's coming up on four years ago that I was able to gift him with a bicycle. So it was like a well-deserved well-earned Christmas present. Um, you fast forward now, like I say, about four years later, and I'm happy to say that David is still sober. David's still working, and he's donated back at least four bicycles to us. So wow. that's that. That's the perf. That's the perfect uh, story. I wish they were all like that, but that that's the one that I really like to share. Wow. It doesn't get any better than that when you can see that full circle coming around and he's continuing to contribute back to the charity that helped him get back on his feet. What a wonderful story. I just yeah. love that. I know that your charity has also been award winning. Tell us a little bit about some of the different recognitions and awards that you've earned over the last few years. Um, yeah, we uh, initially we uh, were 2019 uh, Valrico Fishhawk Small Business of the Year. And then the very next month, we got our real big one, which is the WEDU Be More Empowered Award for Small Nonprofit Making the Biggest Impact in the Tampa Bay Area. And that was just, that was mind scrambling. Um, <laughs> and we're on the map, as you could say. Oh, yeah. And more recently, uh, this past um, January, I think it was January or February, uh, we were named uh, uh, nonprofit. For, uh, by the uh, Plant City Chamber. So, uh, yes, good, good, good stuff. Good stuff. Nice to be recognized. Um, that, that definitely helps to create more awareness in the community. Now, give people an idea of where you are in the community, um, not only to support Bikes for Christ, but also to support your business. Uh, what do you mean where we're at as far physical, as our business? Yeah, your physical location, yep. Well, our physical location is here, but I'm not going to tell you where that's at because. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe a way to contact. What's the best yeah, method for right. people to get it engaged best, with Bikes for Christ? The best way to get hold of us is go to our website. You can either Google Bikes for Christ, just write it out, or it's bikes, the number four, Christ.com. Um, and if you have a bicycle to donate or you want to donate monetary wise, just go to the donation page. Uh, we have drop-off locations listed there. Um, and if you can't drop the bicycle off, there's a form you can complete. And then we can arrange to come pick it up from you. Wonderful. Well, Pat, thank you so much for bringing this important charity to our community, for sharing your ministry with our residents. And I'm going to go make sure that we put a link on there so that people know where to go and have some drop-off locations. Do you want to mention any of those locations in case people are familiar with them? Well, in the in the Brandon area, it's the original Beefo Brady's on Kings Avenue. So that's that. It doesn't get more central than Beefo Brady's than the original. <laughs> Everybody knows that location. That's yeah. a great one. Okay, so that's perfect. Yeah. So people can go online, fill out the form, request a pickup or drop off at the original Beefo Brady's. This is Wonderful Pat with Bikes for Christ. Thank you for being with us today on My Osprey TV. We'll be happy to share this story out with our readers in the community. Thank you all for having me. Thanks again to Pat Simmons of Bikes for Christ for not only starting such an amazing nonprofit here in our community, but also for all the success he's having and the lives he's touching. Uh, those were, uh, that was a pretty amazing story. And I know you've talked to him before about other lives that he's touched in our community. It's, it's incredible what not only one person can do, uh, but even, even just one item can do like having a bike and how transformative, you know, that, that kind of service in the community can be. 100%. He's doing incredible work, and I know he'll have more stories to share. Yeah. So be uh, keep an eye out at OspreyObserver.com for more stories on Pat Simmons and other amazing nonprofits. Speaking of which, what's going on in the community? So we've got another great week of stories. You know, good news is what we cover, so we're always trying to cover good news in our community. And one of our just really great, heartwarming, inspirational stories is we've got a 
Durant baseball player who just signed with the New York Yankees. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Sean Herman. He was also very highlighted in our editions for some of the baseball tournaments in town. He won some great awards at the Saladino tournament. And then here's this young man going straight from high school into the big league. So I think he'll spend a little bit of time in the minors, but he's on his way and a great career ahead. So we're really proud of you, Sean Herman. We'll be watching your career in the years to come. And thanks for putting our community on the map. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, it's incredible to not only just to, if you were to make it that far in college, but to get to that point in high school is yes. unbelievable. Uh, and, uh, and of course, you know, uh, you, you kind of have a little bit of mixed feelings for the Yankees because they are kind of technically a hometown team. <laughs> you know, they do spend a good part of the year here doing their spring training. Um, and many of their players live here in town. And so, uh, you know, it's, it's nice that he's going to continue to have a connection to uh, the hometown. Absolutely. We're super proud of this young man and we'll be watching him for years to come for sure. Okay. We have a new business in the community. Oh, cool. It's called Up All Night. All right. And it is themed sleepover parties. Nice. They will come in and set up a frozen tent, sleeping bags, frozen characters, mock little fire pits in your home. Wow. So that they have themed parties Oh, my daughter's going to be all over that. They have Several themes, superhero themes, backyard campground themes, frozen themes, but it just sounds amazing. I kind of want to, I kind of want to do one for adults, but. (laughs) And that may be like the next extension for the business. I mean, uh, you know, I I think the Florida Aquarium did something like that, you know, where you could stay uh, stay overnight at the Florida Aquarium. That would be Um, This, I know my daughter would absolutely go nuts for this picture that's here on the paper. You got to grab a copy of this. It's, (laughs) it's, 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 It's totally her. You really because can't she see is it. frozen obsessed. Um, <laughs> so uh, I think she would absolutely love this. She loves having her cousins and uh, and her friends over. And so, uh, yeah, kudos to them. I think that's a great concept. Yes, it's up owl night adventures.com. So you got to go check it out. All right. Well, for more <laughs> on that, and again, our superstar baseball player from Duran High School, make sure you check out ospreyobserver.com. And on behalf of Marie Gilmore, Editor-in-Chief of the Osprey Observer and the team at the Osprey Observer. Uh, I'm Johnny Torres. Thank you so much for watching Osprey Observer TV. See you soon. Cool.